these people got to stop complaining. They have this thing and this yeah. thing and a, and a bunch of these. I didn't have any of that. I, I had quality publishing, the government auction guide. I'd have to wait for checks, paper checks to come in the bank. Some people would write forged checks. That wow. screwed me up. I had to save up all that money. I rolled all that money into Pendulum Sportswear and Design, which was T-shirts for amusement parks. And it was so bad back then with no internet. My first major deal, and this was the biggest deal I had in my life. I had rolled, I think it was $7,000. This was in 1991, $7,000. It was every penny I had on my name at the time into a t-shirt deal for Disney's, ver well, it wasn't Disney. It was Norway's version of Disneyland. It was called, I might pronounce it wrong, Tusenfreit, which stands for Viking Land. Well, oh, wow. I had written to Sinfreud because there was no email, a letter, right? And sold them through the mail on spending $7,000 on Hanes Beefy Tea t-shirts with their graphic on it and had to, to close that deal, get on my bike, okay? Because instead of buying a car, I took all my money and I'm like, I'm going to bet on myself and keep rolling this. Wow. I hadn't even bought a car yet. I had to go to our grocery store it was called King Supers. Okay, and and this is even back in those dollars. It was three dollars and seventy five cents a page to send a fax to Norway. And the people at the grocery store looked at me like I had two heads when I said it's got to <laughs> go to this phone number because they never they didn't even know how to send an international fax. Every penny of my entire being was rolled up into a fax going from a grocery store, right? Hoping, hoping that these guys were going that these guys were legit and when i sent this these t-shirts to uh, via dhl to norway that i would receive a check okay not mm -hmm. only did i receive a check but turns out and whoever i don't even know who it was so there's some norwegian somewhere if he's still alive or she's still alive i'd love to give him a hug dhl spilled some oil on my t-shirts and about 30% of them were destroyed I had no way to make good on that promise. It was all my money was wrapped up into that order. They right. sent me a letter. They're like, your t-shirts were so good. Your service was so good. We just wanted to let you know about 30% of them were destroyed, but we're all good. Here's a check for, I think it was $12,000. And I, and that was all my seven was in that deal. Um, oh, wow. I got my seven back plus another five. Um, but my point is this. If I could do that from a fax machine and, and a grocery store, you guys can do it right now.